This bar stool is an easy project that anybody can make in one day. And if you'd like to build one, check out my website for a free set of plans. I've just cut a scrap piece of three quarter inch plywood and I'm going to use it for the seat. For the legs, I'm using one and a half inch by one and a half inch square poplar. And basically it just needs to be at least 28 inches long. We can get all the rails out of one six foot piece of one by six. I've got a little jig screwed to my miter gauge. It's nothing more than a couple 45 degree blocks uh, paired together to form a 90 degree corner. This will allow me to put any type of square stock on edge, tilt my blade a little bit, and get a compound angled cut. Now I'm gonna do this on the top and bottom of all my legs, but it's important that once I get the first cut done to flip it end for end and make sure that both ends or both cuts are going to be parallel of one another. Cut all my rails according to the cut list and for these top rails, in order for them to match up with the legs, I need to bevel the top side by 7 degrees. Before assembly, I'm going to round over all the edges of my seat and put a simple chamfer on the outside edge of all my legs. I want all the rails to be inset one quarter of an inch from the outside of the legs, so I'm going to add a couple pieces of quarter inch plywood as spacers. I think a piece of carpet pad is the perfect amount of cushion for a bar stool. When upholstering a rectangular surface, I find that I get better results by stapling the corners down first. I painted another one that I made earlier this week and I want to try something a little different with this one so I'm going to leave it unfinished for now. Don't forget to check out my website for a free set of plans for this as well as a bunch of other cool how-to projects. If you're into the social media thing, check out my Facebook page. I post a lot of project updates and other woodworking related stuff throughout the week. Uh, thanks for watching guys and have a great day. Mm -hmm.